Hi, it's Paul Berman, the CEO of Birthday Pack. Today I want to discuss something that's near and dear to my heart, and that's providing advertising to businesses and making sure it's working. There's a clear understanding from the beginning of what has to happen for me to stay on their marketing team. This is return on investment simplified that you can literally do verbally on a quick notepad or in the back of a napkin, which I've done in the restaurant space. At Birthday Pack, we make women happy and businesses money with advertising that's better than free. The goal through this process is to sell and retain more business that you work so hard for. I can share that in my decades of selling direct marketing advertising, the number one reason that businesses don't buy advertising and stay with it is they're not convinced it's going to work or it's working. The key message I would suggest you may think about presenting in your own words is Mr. and Miss. Business Owner, if I make you advertising, create advertising that makes you money, do I get to stay on your marketing team? The one question you do need to ask is what their average check is. My experience is most business owners, especially restaurant owners who are using you know, point of sale systems where they presumably get a good amount of data, they know what their average check is. They know what their average customer spends. If they don't know, I'll say throw out the highs and the big weddings or the parties of 10 or 12 or the anniversary dinners or whatever it might be and the people that just come in alone and have a quick snack. What's your average? How many people? How much do they spend? Uh, they know. My assumption is at some point in time they're going to say I want to skip, I want to drop, it's slow, cash flows off, I lost my chef, all kinds of reasons. I'm assuming for sure that that is going to come up at some point in time. So let's take a look at the better than free math. If an advertiser, a restaurant in the dining space has $1,000 in their cash register or point of sale, let's say you charge $400 for the birthday pack program for that month and a 35% food cost is $350, that's a $750 cost against $1,000 of revenue, they have $250 left over and got to wish a lot of women a happy birthday. Using the same math and percentage with a $700 gross revenue in their cash register or point of sale system, same $400 cost for the ad, same 35% food cost, they have $645 of cost, $55 less. The marketing was better than free. If that happens, either of these, do we stay on their marketing team? I hope they say yes. The math and number of transactions on the $1,000, if their average check after the gift we present is $70, they need 15. Actually, it's 14.2 or something. We'll call it 15. And a $50 net check after the gift we present to the affluent female, they need 20 responses. At $700, where it's better than free, they still make money, they need 10 with a $70 net check and 14 with a $50 net check. And that assumes no repeat business ever. Better than free advertising. If these are the pr results we produce, do we get to stay on the marketing team? I hope the answer is yes.